Roger Sanchez, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. My pleasure. To meet with us here at the Dance FM Little Box yes. Yes. at Tomorrowland. Tell me about your experience of Tomorrowland so far. How does it feel for you to be here? I've played Tomorrowland probably over the last eight years, ten years maybe. It's mm -hmm. been a while since I've, I've been playing for Tomorrowland for quite a while. Yeah. It, it's always a different experience every time. It's a lot of fun. This year I actually walked around a bit got a chance to see the other stages yeah. I didn't usually get a chance to do that because normally it's steam in get to the gig <laughs> get to the stage run in run out <laughs> this year I came a little bit earlier and I said you know my girl was like she's like I want to see this tomorrow and I said all right let's let's get in a little earlier what do so, you think of it what do you think of the main stage right, the production is insane in the I mean I've, I've been to the main stage I've been to, to all the stages but the production just seems to pro just progressively get better yeah underwater theme this year thanks. yeah yeah Lot lots of, of fountains yeah a lot of mermaids out yeah, there yeah. as well um, so what does it feel to be headlining a stage this year wicked, as well? Wicked. I mean, it's interesting because I've been playing a lot with Glitterbox this season. Um, one of the main residents in Ibiza. Uh, I played for them New Year's Eve. And I've got a lot of contact um, through the years with uh, Defected and Simon Dunmore. And that's the other brand. And I'm also playing for Defected and Ibiza as well. So it's interesting seeing how the two brands have grown. And really, the vibe is something that I think found a niche here. In, in, uh, in Tomorrowland. So it's actually great to see that develop to this stage. Amazing. Yeah. So shortly after you are flying up to Spain, Greece, and then Macedonia. Yes. Uh, mostly in the Europe. Uh, yes. Which is your favorite country in terms of a uh, crowd? It's difficult to say, to be honest with you. The Spanish crowd is amazing. Uh -huh. um, the UK crowds are always so knowledgeable and very, very well up for it. So it's kind of like really in between the British crowds, the Italians, and the Spaniards. Yeah. Those are the three kind of most hardcore crowds that I find that are just so up for it. And they <laughs> really are proper, proper fans. Representing the Brits. Yeah, uh, yeah. So what's the weirdest thing one of those fans has ever done while she'd been on set? Jesus. <laughs> I've had a lot of weird ones. <laughs> got to Can't really down. talk about that. Will it down to one which yeah. you can uh, use. <laughs> um, hmm. the, the okay version. Which one can I use? I've uh, been flashed a lot. Good. Um the interesting thing I think I saw was a group of fans doing the kind of human pyramid and ah. one with a, with, a, with a kind of placard saying tune. Nice. And they got about Amazing. a good two-story high one. Wow. Girls and boys as well? Yeah, yeah. Just girl, mixed up. Of course, the girl was at the top of the placard. <laughs> she was the one. How long did it take? Were you like concentrating on that and getting distracted? I was playing, no, literally, it, it, it seemed like it appeared magically in front of my eyes. And I forget which festival it was. I just remember looking at the crowd. Everybody was going for it. I looked down, got into my mix, looked up, and there was a human pyramid with a placard going, chew. And I'm like, how the heck did you That's guys amazing. just do that? They've definitely rehearsed, Insane. haven't they? Yeah, they? yeah. Must be like a cheerleading squad or something. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be. Um, you've got a great history uh, back in 2003. You actually won your first ever Grammy. Yes. For a song you did for yes. um, a remix. Was it a, a remix? A remix that I did for, um, the song was called Hella Good, and it was um, Gwen Stefani. Um, no Doubt. No Doubt. Yeah. Yeah. How was it? No diggity. No diggity. <laughs> I, you know what's interesting? Um, Nelly Hooper was the one who actually put me up for that. And I've known Nelly yeah. for a long time, and he said, listen, um, before when they were actually um, commissioning the remixes, he called me up, he said, I want you to do this remix of this track that I've just done for uh -huh. no doubt, and I, I just want you to do it. And I said, no, you didn't. I'm here. So it was actually quite um, humbling that mm -hmm. no doubt won that year several Grammys, and one of the main Grammys they won was the best remix that I had done. And now they was like, yeah, I thought I picked the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Love that accent. Okay. Um, so you are known as like a house legend, aren't you? House music at the moment, how do you feel like it's going? In the good direction? I think that it's had um, what I call the about time cyclical turn because it kind of always comes back to house. It really always does. Uh, what I feel that's, that's very encouraging is that there's a new younger generation that interprets the kind of groundwork that guys like myself who've been in the scene for a while have laid and then change it and make it their own and i love that because it inspires me to then do something different so i think it's kind of gone on its its reincarnation and it's kind of like the phoenix constantly reborn being reborn being inspired by the millennials I always love it. Uh oh always watch out always. um so the final question dubai you obviously have a show here on dance fm yes love it to our set every 
Sunday. every week, yeah, every yeah. Sunday. Yes. And tell me, what do you think of Dubai? Dubai is one of my favorite places to visit. As a matter of fact, the last time I went, um, it was my girlfriend's birthday, so we went out to the desert, and I got on one of those um, kind of desert ATV, oh. the ATV drifts. Ah, yeah, I got That's so cool. nauseous. Did you? I got seasick. Oh I'm, I'm kind of like embarrassed seasick. to say that. Seasick on the sand. Honestly, yeah, I was going to say that, But I loved it. And then, of course, I rolled an ATV. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you didn't, but were you sick afterwards? Or were you no, right? I was just sick while the guy was doing, uh, not on the ATV. It's like when, they, when they've got the four by fours and uh-huh. they're drifting and it's like, you know, um, um, Grand Theft Auto drift or something like that. And then <laughs> yeah. I got on the ATV and I rolled it. That was a wonderful day. But one of the things that, the reason I mentioned that is because there's such a rich culture and vibe that Dubai has and it's something that surprised me the first time I went subsequently I've gone back many times I've played um, for the beach uh, for the New Year's Eve um, the sand dance and a couple of quite a few other things there Uh, and it just keeps it's another one that cycles and Mm. does something different almost every time so it's great to come back yeah, every year it gets bigger and bigger. Well, please come back to the UAE soon. Looking thank forward to so it. Thank you so much. Enjoy thank tonight. You. Enjoy tomorrow land. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah.